Hey guys. Figured I'd do a update of my uh, gas pedal hookup. Right, here's hooked up to the carb. What I did was I just used uh, the standard hookup right here for the original throttle. This thing you hear used to be sideways. I just turned it vertical. And there's the tab there went in the little hole. Hooked the bicycle cable right up into there. I had to extend the bicycle cable right out to here. You see it's just dangling there. And I used one of these. It's just a simple little wire thing. Hooked it on to the just hooked it on to the end of the bicycle cable. And I hooked it on to the butterfly valve like that. I'll actuate it here. I hooked the spring onto there. It's the spring I happen to have. Could have used a better one, but it's all I had at the time, so it works. Wrap it around it. This used to be the bolt that held on the muffler. So I wrapped it around there, and it wasn't enough tension to bring it back to an idle. So I used another little spring onto this thing. And I put a little bolt through it. I put a little bolt through this thing. Hang on a second. I just put a little bolt in this thing. Just a tiny little bolt. I didn't really need it, but I put it there anyway, just in case. And the gas pedal. It's just a standard bicycle thing. It's a standard bicycle. Now, the, my brakes didn't work anyway, so I figured I'd used the brake pedal. Wasn't hurt anything, they weren't, they weren't being used anyway, so I just braced it right there to keep it from sliding back with a little piece of uh, steel. Pull a little bolt through it, so when I, it doesn't come back on me, it slides in the track there. Now, as for my arm that I use, I know it's a bit long, but I like it. It just was off a push mower. The handle, right there is the indentation where the two pieces of handle meet so you can fold them in half. I just flatten it out using the vise. Gave it a 90, 90 degree bend, drilled a hole there. And that made the bicycle handle much higher, making more better. Another piece of uh, steel right there just gave it a little bit of a bend and drilled a hole through and bolted it and it works pretty good now i know the cable's a little long i have to run the cable around here i got too long of a cable the cable was too long so i had to, I had to wrap it around a shorter one well, that's my gas pedal. Now, this is how I did my tack. Like I said, there's four wires coming out of the tack. You got a white, black, red, and green. Every tack's the same. It's a standard cheap tack, a Canadian tack, they're all the same. Now, the red wire, and the white wire, and the black wire, run them directly to the battery. Directly. Run them directly to the battery. Now, the white wire you can put in a toggle switch like I did, or leave the light on all the time. I mean, it's your choice. No brainer, have a light switch. Uh, remember, the ground, white and red, all to the battery. 
and make sure the battery is grounded on, onto the frame. Now, the green wire, I just tied it into the kill switch wire. See the little kill switch wire right here? Just, just uh, coming in down here and bolts down there, down below your throttle mechanism, the original throttle mechanism plate. Just a little wire that goes underneath your uh, coil. Just a little kill wire. Every coil should have one. I just... This came in the kit when I bought it, so I just tie it into the wire and that's it. And it works. Well, I hope that's helpful. I mean, it's not the prettiest looking hookup, but it works. It works. Yeah. Alright guys, guess that's it for me, I'm going to do another vid here in a few minutes, as soon as I save this one, I'll do another video of all my engines, I'll line them all up and I'll show you all my engines. Alright, keep a look out for the other video. I'm out.